Hello everybody, Demon, Demon here, and welcome back to another episode, chapter, whatever you want to call it, of Fire Emblem. In the last episode, we met up with one of Lin's old friends, Valorna, and we somehow, well not somehow, but we luckily met up with Will too. Both of them joining our army, or band of mercenaries as we learned last time. And yeah, now we're going to keep going for the mountains and see if we can get to the other side. Let's continue on with Occupation Shadow, in the Occupation Shadow, Chapter 4. Let's do it. After defeating the bandits, Link continues westward. She and her colleagues stop for the night at a ruined fortress. The Galleon bandits are enraged rage after their brethren fell with Lin's swords. The race in pursuit of the companions. Their angry footsteps sound closer and closer. Alright. Doesn't sound good. Let's see what happens in Chapter 4, in Occupation Shadow. This song is so soothing, I love it. Ah, this should suffice. Tonight's bed. This is Midway Old Fortress? Is this the best we can do? Come, Will, surely you're kidding. The bandits keep everything in turmoil around here. No one has time to worry about travelers. And there are rather a lot of us. This will be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside anyways? I prefer a place where I can feel the wind blow. As long as I'm at Lin's side, I'll be fine. For your protection, your man at arms Sane will be right here by your side, ladies. Heh. <laughs> Sane, both you and I are going to remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Uh, fine. Your pardon, milady. Who's there? Uh, uh, forgive my intrusion. My name's Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. Uh, ah. Are you alright? Hmm, your leg. It's fine, don't worry, it's from a childhood sickness. I can't tell how far in it, but it doesn't trouble me much. What are you doing here all by yourself? I'm looking for my husband, I heard he was in this area. He said he was going to raise money to have my leg mended. He left the village and hasn't returned. He's a kind-hearted man, but I think he might be involved in something dangerous. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him, it's a poor likeness at best, but... His name is Dorcas, do you know of him? I'm sorry, I don't believe I've seen him or heard of him. I see. If you do meet him, please give him a message. Tell him that Natalie is looking for him. I will tell him, I promise. And here to ruin the nice music, it's these douches. Here they are, we finally tracked him down in the bend that defeated Miguel. <laughs> I'm sorry for this guy. I know it's not nice to make fun of people, but his buck tooth teeth along with those tiny eyes, I don't know, I just find him really funny looking, that's all. So we decided to hold up in this ruined fortress? Perfect. We'll wait till it gets dark and then... You're an idiot! There are only a few of them, and some are women. If we attacked them at night, we'd... I'd be a laughing stock. Besides, it might hurt the moment by mistake. I'll not be so wasteful. You're right. Car, good job. You're so smart. We'll avenge Miguel and get some pretty souvenirs to boot. Who knows, maybe I'll be a leader after all. Let's go. Spread out and circle the place, you rogues. Let's finish this before it gets too dark to see. And well, there's a lot of them. Hey you, your name's Dorcas, right? You haven't done much since you joined us. Are those weapons of yours aren't just for show. Today's the day to let us see what you can do. I want you to attack from the back entrance to the east. There's supposed to be a woman inside. If you want, I want you to capture her. Do that and I'll increase the share of the take. If you want gold, you'll get the job done. Bunch of women, huh? You break Natalie's sweet heart to see me sink so low. Here we go. Lady Lindis, outside the fortress. Bandits. What did you say? Persistence bunch, aren't they? What do you think? Shall we go out and face them? No. Natalie cannot move well, and that would put her in danger. Let them come to us. We'll fight here within these walls. Zachary, take over. The command is yours. All we have to do is hold out until they tire and leave. Oh. That's easy, Natalie. No one will harm you. Listen, everyone. Fight with caution. Let's get this started. Zachary, this fortress has two entrances. That's where we must meet the enemy. I'll take the eastern door. Zachary, you and the others guard the main entrance. Alright, sounds like we got a plan. So, this is our first injection to a protect mission. In these types of missions, you often have to protect a NPC or you have to protect something else. In this case, we have to protect Natalie for seven turns. When those seven turns are up, 
Mission's over no matter what the status of everyone is. Alright, let's get this started. The first thing to note here is that we have a broken wall here. Which these enemies are actually going to try and break through and make a third entrance. So you want to keep your eye on that, but don't worry about it for a little bit since it has a whopping 50 HP. For what I know of at least. It's 50 or 30 if I remember. Anyways though. So Lynn wanted to head over this way, so why don't we let her go do that? There we go. And now, as you can see, there are a ton of enemies down here, all wielding axes. What you want to do is I recommend you put Sane here, have him equip the sword, and have him wait here, and then do the same thing for Kent. These two are probably your bulkiest units at this part, so you're gonna want to do this. Then what you want to next, in my opinion, put Will behind one of these two so he can add chip damage. And I think I'm just gonna have Florida follow Lin for a bit. Alright, let's get this started. There's Dorcas, and oh lord, his legacy begins already. Anyway, so let's get this started. We'll keep it going. Alright, so as you can see here, they're going to try and break through your defense. However, Kent and Sane with their swords equipped should not need to worry at all, because Kent will just two hit, like, two hit KO them, no problem, thanks to his speed. And then Sane does enough damage on his own that Will should be able to finish up after a follow-up. As you can see, oh, 50 HP, yeah, I was right. Now they're going to try and get through that wall up there, but you don't have to worry about that for quite some time. Because only one of them can attack it at a time. Alright, Kent, keep, keep going. Oh, critical hit! I think that's the first time that's happened besides when it was scripted back in level 1. Nice! For those who don't know, critical hits do triple the normal damage of a regular strike. So he did 30 damage there, which is pretty freaking powerful. There we go. And also, I find it kind of funny, and this is kind of a joke among the Fire Emblem community, that by spinning your weapon around before swinging, it goes Super Saiyan powerful, getting a critical hit. Because almost every weapon, they spin their weapon and then sh hit or shoot, and then it does triple damage. It's just kind of a joke among the community, and it's kind of true, honestly. Anyways, as you can see here, we're kind of walling these guys up really well, and oh, Archer there. Alright, he's going to do some damage there. And it says other phase, but that's just Natalie's turn, and she won't do anything. Zachary, the fighter who just attacked me. Doesn't look someone like that picture of Natalie's husband? And this is a new type of command here. We have Dorcas here. So if you want to, we can have Lin approach and talk to him instead of fight him. Let's talk to him. Awesome music once again. Anyways, though. You, tell me, are you Dorcas? How do you know my name? Natalie told me. What are you doing with these robes? I need money. That may be, but joining up with mercenaries? The only way to earn gold in these parts. I'll do anything, even this. For gold? Anything? Would you hurt your wife? Natalie's here, we're protecting her within this fortress. What? Natalie's... she's here? Just so worried that she came looking for you. Thank Dorcas. Would your actions please your wife? You're right. Well, I understand. I can't do this. I'm done with these bandits here and now. Really? Yes. And I repay you for your kindness towards Natalie. Allow me to fight for you. And with that, Dorcas is now part of our team! Yay! Anyways, though, you know it does on the drill. Cue the bio from Dorcas. It's kind of rare when you ever hear me say that it's a Fire Emblem character that's bad. That really doesn't really have too many uses. However, Dorcas is a different story. Dorcas is probably the worst character you're going to be uh, getting the pleasure, quotation marks, of using on your team. He has really bad skill stats, so he's rarely ever going to hit people. He's really slow. His critical hit, like, his luck is okay, I guess. His defense is pretty, like, you don't get defense often. Literally, in my opinion, the only two things he has going for him is that he has lots of HP, and he has a decent attack stat. However, I won't lie when I say this. Almost every other axe user ever that you'll ever encounter will do Dorcas's job twice as better, if not triple times better. I hate... I hate saying there's like nothing good about Dorcas, but besides his HP and the fact he's good for clogging him a uh, short um, uh, hallway so he can make it so the enemy can't approach, he's basically worthless. I'm, I'm sorry, Dorcas. I really am. Alright, now we're back here. And I hate to be so negative towards a new character, but Dorcas kind of sucks. But anyways, though. Now, Dorcas here, he's special. He's our first axe-wielding attacker, and he also carries a hand axe, which can attack for one to two spaces of range, like so. And- Oh! Damn, I'm not gonna lie. When a critical hit happens with a hand axe, it looks so cool. And we got an iron axe for that, so now Dorcas has two different axes. Not bad. Okay, so let's get back onto the action down here. I'm gonna have Will uh, poke this guy. Knock him out. There we go. Nice and easy. 
now we got the wall going on here and I did I think I talked about yeah so basically what I'm gonna recommend you do with Dorcas during this chapter is that he has a crap ton of HP 30 whopping HP compared to everybody else that's a lot of HP so he's basically really good at putting in corridors like in front of this uh, wall for example and taking hits like forever and we're not putting you anywhere near that archer I'll just have Florida go over here uh, we're gonna have Kent go for the sword strike on this guy to knock him out. Nice and easy. Okay, good job, Kent. And another level up. Is he level 5? Kent is just flying through the levels. Wow. And that's a pretty decent level up, I won't lie. Alright, let's see here. Uh, Sane. No one can still get in, so it's okay if I had a, a little bit from where we were, so I'll have Kent, uh, Sane go out there a bit. And nice dodge. Alright, and not even close to level up. I thought he was kind of close. Right, let's see what they're gonna do. They're going to keep attacking Kent. Not the smartest move, in my opinion, but whatever. He's taken care of. And now I believe the other guy that's here is a sword user, so we're gonna be even with him. But we're still gonna destroy him because we're, we're, we're talented. <laughs> There's two damage. Alright, can we get double attack? Yes, we can. And just barely misses the knockout. Aw. Dang. I think I have to jump for Florin to come in and just poke at him. Oh, attack insane. And no one's been hitting insane. Jeez, I know you guys have the weapon disadvantage, but wow. Okay. okay. Oh, the wall's getting a little weak there. I don't like that. Another phase. And oh, something down here. What are you waiting for? She's just a child, a girl. Ah, get more men up here now. And now reinforcements are going to start appearing. Fun. Okay see here. Now, we're not going to keep Dorcas over here. I'm just going to say it outright. We're not keeping Dorcas here. We're going to move him over there. And I'm going to have Lynn guard this way over here, because I'm pretty sure she can handle anyone who comes over here just fine. Actually, I'm going to have Falorna come over here, and then next turn I'll get Lynn going over here. Okay, now what do I want to do about this? I think I'll have... Uh, I think I'll take out the sword fighter. I'm more worried about him than the axe fighter. There we go. Not bad. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna have Sane just... Yeah, I'll have Sane take this guy out. Actually, no, we're gonna miss the KO just barely. That nice dodge. Sane is just dodging everything today. Jeez, it's really insane. Pun intended. I've been avoiding using that pun for so long because that's how obvious it is. And, oh, we're making an entrance in. Uh, jeez. How far can you move? You cannot get in. Okay, no one can get in. It's, like, it's okay if Kent moves out of it. Okay, good. I always gotta check for that, because their job right now is just to get to Natalie. So, if we keep Natalie safe, there's no... We can't really lose this chapter. Enemy phase, alright. There he comes, and here he comes for Kent. And Kent's getting a little low on HP for my liking, so we're probably gonna have him back up and heal a bit. There we go. I think he still has vulnerability on him, so I'm not really worried, and... Almost level 6. Jeez, Ken, calm down. And uh-oh. Wall's about to be busted. I think the wall's busted. Yep, the wall's gone. Okay. We are kind of in a bad spot, I won't lie. Okay, Dorcas, it's time. Do what you do best by clogging the entrance. Uh, that hit chance. Uh, Dorcas, why do you have to have such bad accuracy? Okay, you know what? Actually, I'll have Dorcas t uh, cover Natalie since Dorcas is so bulky. Natalie! Is that you? Natalie, are you alright? What were you thinking coming all this way? I was worried about you. Please, don't let my leg trouble you anymore. You mustn't put yourself in such danger. Please. I'm sorry. It must have been out of my head. I didn't realize that girl didn't make me open my eyes. And this brought you here? I'll explain later. We gotta drive back these bandits first. Listen, stay put, don't move from here. Alright, as long as you're here, I know I'm safe. Ah, I wanted to get that talk out of the way because it's kind of nice to have those conversations. Okay, Lorna, get in here, kick butt. Now, we may not be doing too much damage to them with Florna here, but they are doing, like, nothing to Florna, and there's only sword fighters coming out of here, so we don't have to worry about that too much. I'll move Lynn over here. Uh, I think I'll have Kent go over here and use a Volnuary. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'll have Kent go over here and use a Volnuary. 
I'm saying stay here to guard the entrance, and having an archer here isn't going to get anything done, so I think I'll have Will just move over here. Yeah, let's hope that was all smart moves, because I'm actually in a little bit of a risky scenario compared to what I normally try and do at this level, but it's not that bad. Here we go. I really wish we could buy Florina an Iron Lance already so she can be a little bit stronger, because this Slim Lance isn't very powerful, as you can clearly see. Here we go. Alright, what else you got? He's moving in. Okay, there we go. Iron Sword against Iron Sword, and Kent's just better, so we already know who's gonna win this. Holy jeez, Kent, calm down. You're doing way too much damage. I'm kidding. But seriously, though, he's doing a lot. He's hiding in the back, alright, and there's the archer doing nothing! Alright. Now he's doing nothing, there's some reinforcements. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Florida go over here. Uh, let's see, I can't- Oh, I can knock you out, okay, then I'm gonna keep Florida out here to knock him out. Oh, critical hit! Good job, Florida. Alright. Okay, let's see here. Now I'm gonna take Will. I'll take this guy out with some chip damage, nice and easy. There we are. Then I'm gonna have Kent. Uh, this guy, even though he's probably never gonna hit me, this guy can do a lot more damage than the archer can, so I'll take him out. Oh, he actually did hit me. Huh. Surprise, surprise. And another level up. Is this level 6 or 7? Level 6, okay. HP, luck. Uh, that was an okay level up. Wasn't anything special. Okay, Dorcas. Um, you know what, Dorcas? Be a wall down here. And Lin, um... I guess we'll have Lin do some protecting over here. Okay, and say, uh, go after this guy. Why not? Have Sane go on the offensive. Because he still hasn't been hit yet. What? I thought I jinxed it there. Okay, wow. Sane. He's moving. Heh. <laughs> right, go up to Florida. How much you gonna do? Absolutely nothing. That's the answer. Okay, let's see here. This Sane is just dodging everything. Jeez. I know it's only a 46 chance right there, but like, dang. Okay, how many turns are we in now? Four? Five? I'm hoping for five. Nice dodge, Florna. And there we go. Get some damage in. The main point of me putting Florna on her own like this is because I want her to get as much experience as possible because I know she can handle anyone who comes through that passageway up there. And she's still dodging! Sane, you the man, and he got a double attack. Dang, Sane. We made a bit fun of you, and we made a choke you as a joke on the first chapter, but good lord, you're putting in a lot of work right now. And pff, Archer doing two damage. Ah, I are dangers. <laughs> okay, let's see what he got. Okay. Turn six out of seven, so we're almost done here. I'll just knock you out. There we go. That should be a level up for her. Nice, alright. Level up. Let's see. Come on, damage. Yes! Strength! And speed and sc Good level up. Good level up. And you know what? Lynn's been sitting here for a while. I'm gonna move her out here. Okay, um. Um. Uh, that's dead. Ah, go for the lance. Why not? Here we go. There we go. Alright, nice job, Kent. Like, see, I, I'm not even trying to get Kent very much experience, but he's just, like, been so good this, like, this time around. And you know what, actually? We can just kind of pull our units back. Because the chat is over. They can't do anything. They're too far away to even get to him. Alright. Maybe phase. Oh, okay, we got a sword duel. So we got a regular iron sword against a Manikati. I think we know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> and, ooh. Level up. Alright. Let's see. HP, strength, skill. That's not a bad level up at all, actually. More speed. It's really good on Lin. And another one going for Lin. I don't know why you guys are going for Lin, because you know Florida is technically the weaker unit, but whatever. Good job, Lin. Okay, what else we got? And ooh, weapon level increase. Not bad. I haven't explained it yet, but weapon uh, efficiency 
There's a stat that you have from your characters. Let me just switch to uh, analyze Lin here for a minute. And I think, yeah, here it is. So this will show you your um, uh, uh, weapon um, uh, proficiency. And the higher your, uh, the letter is of that weapon type, uh, the better weapons they can use for that class. Since she has a C um, uh, weapon um, uh, proficiency, that, be that basically means that she's a little bit, like, she's two levels above the lowest level. It goes E, D, C, D, A. So just keep that in mind when you look into the stuff. And you know what? This is the last turn, so we're already done. So let's just move Florida in here. We're not going to be able to finish the knockout, but this guy is not going to hit us. Or not. Okay, whatever. I right, got a little bit more XP before the chapter ends. I'm just going to move Lin in here. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to end my turn right there. Right, come on, Florida. Nice dodge. There it is. And we're not going to get to finish him off, sadly. But hey, we got a lot of experience doing this. And oh, going for Kent. I wish. Oh, God. Kent's actually really close to dying. I did not realize how close Kent was to dying. Oh, Lord. Okay, I had a little bit of a heart attack there. Ah. That does it, though. Curses. They're not human. Listen up, bro. It's retreat. Pull back. The enemies fled. Zachary, we've won. Dorcas. So sorry, Natalie. All the ends will, right, Natalie? And yeah, we did it. We lived. Our village is close. I'll take Natalie home and return tomorrow. Mm, why can't we just say our farewells today? Well, uh, it spoke exactly what you did, but I, I've been invited to join your group. Well, we're going to Lycia. I have to go somewhere to earn money. If you think I'll be of use, I'd like to fight for you. You helped my wife? I owe you. Dorcas. Please, then. We are both in agreement on this. Watch over my husband. Oh, we'll watch him. Trust me. And all oh, the nice music's back. Yay. Things have finally calmed down. Continue taking turns keeping watch. Please rest easily. Is that alright? Are you sure? Sane? Oh, uh, uh. Yes, of course. Let me warn you. If they sneak up on you, they'll cut you down without mercy. You understand that? What? Do you doubt my bravery? Am I not a knight? There's no need to worry. No need to worry. It's freaking done. Right, Kent? If there's anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well, good night then. See you tomorrow, Zachary. Let's go. Ha. <laughs> no one ever trusts me. Well, the game pokes fun at him so much, but when he's actually in the game, he's pretty destructive. Not gonna lie. Anyways, though, that's gonna do it for Chapter 4 in Occupation Shadow. In the next chapter, I guess we keep going, but Dorka's part of our team now. So yeah, see you guys next time.